all, Stacy here with Lime My AZ. <clears throat> it is week 42. Um, I did not do an update for week 41. Um, last week was kind of rough. Um, and I am at 680 stings. So, um, it is quiet. Um, if you are new to my channel, quiet is kind of unheard of in my household. So, um, there's like no noise except for the birds outside and a little bit of traffic and it's just so quiet <laughs> it's a little unnerving when you're used to chaos um all right so last week i did not do an update um we are last week we were coming off of the equinox um the spring equinox and um are in the midst of a pretty bad solar storm and then a couple of days ago mercury went into retrograde so um i uh i used to be pagan i no longer am but because of that pagan history um i'm more aware of things than you would typically find i think within most christians um and having Lyme disease, I know it affects us. Um, it seems that right now it seems just affecting most people, um, whether you have Lyme disease or other chronic illness. Um, and it's just is making for some rough waters for a lot of people. Um, so the solar storm is apparently pretty bad. Um, it's one of the worst that we've had in recent history. Um, and I think, honestly, probably based off of having my own history with retrogrades and whatnot um i would say that that is probably causing more trouble than even the retrograde um but i know for me although the pain level has not been very high um i've woken up some some mornings pretty stiff um more stiff than usual my joints are acting up a little bit more than they normally do um or at least for recent history but not so bad that it is like just trying to make it through the day. Um, it's just a little bit annoying. Like, hey, my hands are more stiff than usual. My knees are more achy. The left side of my jaw in particular is just, it's more problematic. It's just a little bit on the annoying side. Not so much like... Uh, I want to be in tears, you know, uh, I'm not even close to that. Um, I am definitely more irritable. I am more grouchy and more emotional. Um, but other than that, this whole, uh, astral events situation does not seem to be affecting me as bad as it used to. Um, even with the inconsistency and the bee stinging. So, um, what is happening with the bee stinging? So, as you probably already are aware, I've had repeated issues with trying to sting on a regular basis. Um, repeated issues. It just seems to be nonstop issues. Um, and it's been going on now for four or five months. Um, it started when my mom left to visit my brother uh it was just too difficult to try to get the stinging done at that point when she was gone since we can't be um grabbing the bees and doing the stinging uh with the kids in the room particularly the baby um so it kind of started then and then it just hasn't let up it's been everything from not enough time to um having other things happening that we're taking priority for that day to bees disappearing to bees dying to um me not feeling well like getting the flu or other people not feeling well it's just been one thing after another we've even recently started catching the bees well then that stopped working um come to find out it what we were doing, we were putting the, we were putting honey in a, uh, butterfly enclosure that allowed us to zip it up and catch a bunch of bees. 
Well, that only worked for like a week and a half and then it stopped working and we were completely like, what is going on now? You know? And so we're thinking maybe somebody in the neighborhood had an exterminator come out or pest control come out and take care of a hive that is where we were getting our bees from. Who knows? We don't know where the, the, the neighborhood hives are located. Um, we were just attracting them with this honey. And then suddenly one day they just stopped showing up and it was like, we weren't getting any, like none. And I'm like, what is going on? Like we finally figured out how to get these bees without having to fill our box every two days. Um, but nothing now. And so after talking to our bee guy who we usually get our bees from when the box is filled, um, he said probably more than likely what happened was because all of a sudden spring officially hit and things started blooming and that the bees will naturally go after things like um, the flowers and pollen and stuff before they will honey. Uh, now it all makes sense. <laughs> and so um, we weren't attracting the bees anymore because it wasn't as enticing as the pollen. So we have again gotten our bee box filled. This time it probably has, I don't know, I'm just going to say a lot of bees. Um, and so we are keeping the kids out of the backyard, um, at least for a couple of days. We just got it a couple of days ago until the bees kind of calmed down a little bit and are um, going after wherever they're going to get their pollen from. Um because there were a lot of them. So, um, but it is full. They are staying around. They aren't disappearing or dying off, which is nice. We think that even on some of the remaining cold nights, that there should be enough of them in the box to be able to warm their box, uh, which is one of the theories that we had for why we were losing the bees that we were getting in the box, was that they that there were just not enough of them and they were not able to, um, they were not able to survive because it was just too cold out at night. So, um, so far so good with these guys. Um, I, we got the bees two days ago. We did stinging last night. Uh, we did not do any last week because we weren't able to catch bees. Um, in addition to not feeling well, which is why I did not do the update video. Um, but I think that we are back on track. Uh, I have decided that I am no longer going to switch the days that we're singing. Like instead of saying, oh, well, that's okay. We don't need to do it today. We can do it tomorrow since it didn't work out today. Uh, -uh I'm not doing that anymore. That's more stressful to me than just saying, you know what? We skip it tonight and we'll have two stings this week. Um, because trying to switch it is a problem for me taking yucca. Um, cause I need to take that on my non-sting days. And if my non-sting days get switched up on me, then that is problematic. The yucca is for the, uh, ammonia in the brain. So it's kind of an important supplement. I mean, all of the supplements I'm taking are important, but I, I really don't like skipping that one because then I ended up becoming more dependent on a leave for the days that I'm having bad days instead of Yucca being able to consistently take care of it. Um, so the from now on, we are seeing on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Done. If it's not happening on one of those days and it's not happening that week, for, we're not going to switch it to a different day um, to reduce the stress there. I am feeling a lot better mentally, um, which was one of the big scary things that I dealt with, uh, at my worst. And although I'm not out of bed yet, I am feeling better. And so I am considering trying to get back into school at this point. Um, I have an idea of what field I want to go into, but I've switched what field I want to go into so many times that I'm just not going to even mention it. <laughs> um, but we'll see how it pans out. If anything changes, um, that I can actually get into school and then I'll let you know. Um, 
So, what else is happening? Not much. I think that's about it. That's the update for this week. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful week.